Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. And of course, these images here, published by RT earlier today, amazing uh, aerial photos there in Siberia. They're on Russia's northern border there, uh, taken that has really left a lot of people dumbfounded and in awe. And I know a lot of people that think, what, well, Planet X? Well, it's not actually Planet X. It does dissipate, but this sphere that began to glow on the horizon there really had a lot of people's attention, wondering what in the world is going on. Uh, so this a huge glowing ball has been spotted during the dark hours in various locations across Siberia, Russia. People living hundreds of miles from each other witnessed the impressive but somewhat scary phenomena. Anyway, thought we'd share that with you there. You can find this on RT's news there. Uh, just interesting to, to say the very least there. Kind of catching some more serious notes though, that are going on. Uh, Michael D. published this on Twitter here. This is a large number of uh, helicopters by the uh, U.S. being moved there into Europe. Uh, I actually tried to count the number of helicopters appears to be about 60 of helicopters, that's including Blackhawks and Chinooks. These are actually going to the front lines there along Russia's border in Eastern Europe, to Latvia, uh, Lithuania, and Estonia. And, uh, and then also uh, our good friend Lorenzo from Already Happened publishing this article on his website. U.S. continues to deploy the military equipment in Europe, including the Apaches, the Blackhawk, the Chinook helicopters, and uh, just no seeming of letting down. This, this uh, latest uh, movement of all this military equipment has been more so since the Zapad exercises that Russia did, uh, but the military presence alarmingly building up since the Cold War, and one cannot help but wonder if this is not in preparations for a bigger uh, military operation that could come in the near future. You can't help but Think about uh, the famous words from Jesus in uh, Matthew 24 when it speaks about wars and rumors of wars. Uh, kingdom that, uh, kingdom be against kingdom, nation against nation. Very troubling times that we are, are, are living in. Uh, one other article here as well I wanted to share with you here. This here, protect American businesses from uh, black male uh, Congress passes the Israeli Anti-Boycott Act. United Nations Human Rights has really been pushing trying to boycott businesses um, inside of Israel and around uh, the world there, it says the United Nations Human Rights Council and UN Human Rights Chief are threatening companies in the U.S. and around the world for doing business with Israel. Monday, Maryland become the 23rd state to adopt an anti-boycott rule. It is urgent for Congress to pass the bipartisan Israel Anti-Boycott Act, a vital tool to prevent anti-Jewish discrimination and protect American businesses from blackmail. A uh, very troubling situation indeed. And um, when we see this boycott of Israeli businesses for the mere fact that there are settlements inside the West Bank. You know, the thing is, there's been settlements for, for, for many years. And, uh, but it, it should be that the people can live together in peace rather than constant fighting and bickering and everything because, after all, there are too many, or excuse me, two million uh, Palestinians that live in the main part of Israel. Uh, so what's the difference if you have that and Israelis living inside the West Bank? Now, I do realize that there is in contentions over who the land belongs to, and so I would have to argue as well that Israelis, that the land should be purchased before just up and making settlements. So, like I said, there is two sides of the story. And so I do understand that and try to keep that in mind. Uh, nonetheless, though, the UN, you cannot help but wonder what they are up to as they, as they continue to do these things. I'm going to be going to some other things later. Haven't had a chance yet to pull all the information together that I want to discuss with you. Hopefully this weekend we'll get to those those issues, what Rome is actually up to. And of course, this is one of those issues right here. There's a major movement right now, though, of uh, unity, bringing back together all the churches together with Rome. Big push for that. And some very interesting insights that was sent to me privately that I want to share with you as well. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. See you this weekend. Shalom.